When I see people in church praying, praying fervently, sometimes I ask myself, ano kaya ang dinadasal nila? I wonder what they are praying for. There is nothing wrong about expressing to God our wishes when we pray. After all, si Jesus nga mismo yung nagsabi in Matthew 7, verse 7, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Today's gospel, however, comes across as a warning because we could be asking for the wrong things. Have you never heard of the saying, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. And indeed, if you get what you ask for, what makes you so sure that you will be happy with it? I could sense that the gospel writer was laughing when he wrote this story about the bold, daring request of James and John to Jesus. Sabi ba naman nila, we want you to grant whatever it is that we ask of you. Mabait naman si Lord sabi niya, what do you ask of me? Etong request, Grant that in your glory, we may sit, one at your right and the other at your left. You know, in the Gospel of John, yung glory, that is the moment of the crucifixion. Kung alam lang ni James, Nina James and John, that glory meant crucifixion. I wonder if they would have made their request anyway, namely, to take the place of the two criminals positioned, one on his right and the other on his left. Talaga nga naman, be careful what you ask for. In the first book of Kings, chapter 3, we are told that once, you know, God appeared to Solomon in a dream. And God said to Solomon, King Solomon, in a dream, Make a wish and I will grant it to you. Humiling ka, pagkakaloob ko. It was actually a kind of test. And Solomon passed the test. The writer says, he was commended by God kasi daw, he did not ask for a long life for himself. He did not ask for riches for himself. He did not even ask for revenge against his enemies. Ang hiniling niya ay wisdom. The wisdom to be able to discern what is right. In short, when Solomon was asked to make a wish, ang sagot niya ganito, Lord, I wish that I will know how to wish properly. I wish that I can wish for the right things. Ang husay, no? Very clever indeed. James and John were asking for positions of power in the company of Jesus. And Mark tells us, narinig nung ibang mga alagad, nagalit sila kina James and John. Bakit? Because they also wanted power for themselves. Do not forget, even these apostles were human beings. In the previous chapter, in Mark chapter 9, they had already been arguing who among them thou was the greatest. 
Sinong dakila? And Jesus answered them with a symbolic action. He put a child in the midst. In chapter 10, Jesus does not exactly reprimand James and John for aspiring for greatness. When Jesus is presupposing na parang natural lang sa tao ang umasam, mag-ambisyong maging dakila. Instead, Jesus explains to them kung anong tunay na kadakilaan, what true greatness is about, that it is not about lording it over other people. It is not about making your importance felt. Rather, it is about becoming a servant and being ready to give up one's life as a ransom for many. Ang tawag sa ganitong lingwahe in English is paradoxical. When a statement seems contradictory, but is actually communicating a profound truth, ang tawag dito sa Ingles, paradoxical. And so we invented the vocabulary of servant leadership in the church. Pag pinakinggan mo, parang contradictory. But actually, it is paradoxical. In this world, normally, servants do not lead and leaders do not serve. But then, of course, Jesus is saying, we are in this world, but we are not of this world. And so, he expects us, his disciples, to develop the wisdom to discern God's will, which sometimes will not be consistent with our personal wishes. In the Lord's Prayer, I believe the summary of the prayer is, Thy will be done. Masyado tayo marami hinihingi, but at the end of the day, Lord, you know better. Thy will be done. I remember we used to sing that song about a child who asked her mother about what the future has in store for her. Doon sa last stanza of the song, the child who used to be asking now has become a parent, a mother herself. Ang sabi nung last stanza, Now I have children of my own. They ask their mother, What will I be? Will I be pretty? Will I be rich? I tell them, wait and see. Alam nyo na yung refrain. And the refrain goes, Que sera, sera, Whatever will be, will be. The future's not ours to see. Que sera, sera. Spanish po yun. <laughs> what will be, will be. And I can only hope that well, what we wish to be is really what God wills for us 